Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Backbone. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today with Renee as we have a nice tall glass of gin, and she tells us all about her history, about her uh, what made her who she is right now. An incident happened last year, I think she said, at the West End. Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. How? What the fuck? All these people in areas like West End and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. The city is built upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the bite. Good. Nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. Well, I don't want to be normal anymore. Right. It's time to change things. Finally. I believe in us. How have you been sleeping since? I not been getting much. I have this recurring nightmare. I'm listening. I'm running through thick black mud. And then it swallows me whole. Sounds a bit like mine. Hmm? What is it? I'm falling from a multi-story building. It's on fire. Hmm. And then I die. That's the dream. Good one. Yep. Are you close with your mom? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Oh? Eh, it's complicated for me. Complicated how? It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. No one is owed anything from you. Especially love. Parents can be assholes, too. What's her deal? She's just... Complacent. And she's got no perspective. Go on. She believes everything they say on TV. Or anywhere. Damn. Try talking to her? Yeah, dead end. She just doubles down. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. You feel guilty about it ever? No way. I'm not her therapist. I didn't ask to be born, and I refuse to shoulder the burden of her insecurities. <laughs> Maybe I should try thinking like that. If someone brings negativity into your life, cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. Do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, Renee is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, Renee's great. Ah oh, crap. I'm I'm playing I'm I'm role playing um because I'm making the choices here. I'm role playing Howard, but he's he's not at all like well, it's not it's not that he's too different from me, but he's, I'm not basing his character on myself. I'm just basing him on an understanding that I made up right at the beginning of the Let's Play that I'm trying to anchor myself to when I make choices so that I can have a level of consistency. The problem is Renee is throwing that all out the window because she is me. She is like me on the beat. Just me. Just me. She's just... She's me. Oh my god, Renee, I love you. You're awesome. Yes. It's fantastic. I just it just threw me off so hard, and it's I'm still thrown off. I I, I don't know that I can keep because I'm just enjoying enjoying your lines, but I I don't know that I can keep being very consistent here. Um, <laughs> well, let's go back to that one. That was that was good. That's the one that got me. Honestly, if someone brings negativity into your life, cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. Do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? And I'm gonna play into how. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the yeah. This is why it's throwing me off because she's making a question, but she's asking. It's like a a job interview question. Not really, not on this thing. But she's saying that she feels like nobody truly knows her. But how? That's the issue. Unfortunately, it's only two options here. Which is kind of a shame, but, well, it is where the writing is going. Um, the, I thought it was three options. As the first option is, you know me, kind of, and and nobody ever will. I don't think she knows me. If she is like me, <laughs> which is a leap of faith, because, obviously, 
everything everything so far has been yes she is like me but uh, me colonel rpg i mean not me howard uh then that answer doesn't uh, doesn't connect to her she this one does but it's a very it does it doesn't it's not a very targeted answer because you know it's sort of a vague feeling either way it's just sort of corroborating and well i suppose it it makes sense it is the yes answer here because do you ever feel like no one truly knows you yes is the answer i'm going to say and nobody ever will wow that does that's an interesting answer in the context of uh howard kind of having a thing for renee hmm either way i'm gonna go with it that's what i would answer right I could only know you filtered through my own perception. That is not really you, just a projection inside my head. I'm glad that I'm in your head, Renee. Me too. Get comfortable. It's a nice place to be in. <laughs> oh my god! It's like. <laughs> oh my god! She's like, she's talking to my soul right now. Jesus Christ! Um. I'll look around after all this is over. Let's go with this one. You're also in my head, Renee. That's nice. Are you scared? Always. <laughs> Fucking hell. She's like me, goddammit. Me too. You're not alone. Yeah. Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? I think I'm saying close your eyes rather than me closing my eyes. I'm going to say close your eyes. Huh. Well, I still have my uh, tie clip on. So I'm presentable and I... How, oh, I'm tucking her in. I was like, I'm going to tuck in. What? No. Oh, right. Yes. It's not me sleeping there. It's... For some reason, what 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 is the word for? Oh, you tuck yourself in when you're going to bed by yourself. So I'm tucking her in. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet dreams, Renee. Oh, there we go. Now I can go to sleep. Where will I sleep? It's gonna be amazing. Oh, it's here. It's in this thing. In this uh, whatever that thing is called. Uh, let's let's work a little bit more then, I suppose. So, article makes no mention of where they found him. Makes you wonder. Bloodworth Patriarch found dead. What are you playing at, Bloodworth? I don't get this. Uh, look at that, the side, uh, Starling Cider over there. What are you hiding, you bastard? Is that the... Uh... Hmm. Fat Goose Noodles. Oh, that's the takeout. <laughs> that's the takeout. Uh, chapter 4, call editor. Hmm. Now this makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, this is the ape. This is the, the minister, most likely. Bloodworth was doing it right under our noses this whole time. Still makes me think to think about it. The best and the brightest minds of the city. What are you up to in there, exactly? In Science City. And Gaston over here. That Louis is a wreck. But I can't help but feel a little sorry for him. Guess he has that effect on people. Hope he's okay. Okay, at least. I'm sorry for the hiccup. But, yeah. Let's sleep. Howie, you okay? You're brooding more than an Essie after I forgot the dishes. Oh, lots on my mind. So how about you share instead, hmm? It might do you and that overworked brain of yours some good. The case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth. And then there's Renee who... Hooey, that lady. <laughs> no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together in mutual respect. Not bad ingredients. If you're looking to cook up a little something, something if all is all I'm saying. Uh, that you, Street Hawk. I. Since when do we? I, do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? Uh. Not so great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads now. 
You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? Uh, I, I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Damn. Well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. Yeah, maybe. I, uh, I don't know. What if this is a total wild geezer chase? It might be, but we won't know until we follow the leads. You should know this stuff is never handed to you on a plate. I know, I know. I really hope you're right. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. Would be nice if they gave me a chance. If only they knew how understanding you are. Chin up, you got this. I do got this. Good luck, and remember to knock gently. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. Actually, I thought I was going to give her a, a nickname. A, uh, not nickname. What's the word? Code names. That's the one. But apparently we're not. <laughs> All through that dialogue, I was, I was thinking about that. Um, and uh, I might have misread some lines because of that. So we are in... We have a bunch of objectives. Find a connection between the missing girls from West End. So we're in the West End, I would guess. Dr. Aliyev. We have Renee over here. That's the phone. Yummy Mart. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old yummy. Nata's nuts and veggies. Nata? If you want it, it's for sale. Okay. If you need to ask, ask. Excuse me? Trench coat. Yes, mangy ear. Stripey. You help my little peanuts, Sid. Yes? Oh, yeah. Anything to uh, keep the free market free? <laughs> was that the take? It sort of was. Yeah. It was because, you know, dodging taxes and whatnot, I suppose. I did? I'm going to ask. Yes, he says you help him deal with creepy old bully trying to crush his nuts. Right, I did do that. Nata loves you. One good turn deserves another. Free nuts. Oh. Wow, sh sure. Luxury mixed assortment is yours, but not now. Next time you come, customer retainment strategy. Great. You're always welcome at Natus, but not today. Next time, cha-cha, darling. Uh, I gotta ask, what's Sid still? Sid is a good boy. Very clever. He go far. Farther than anyone guessed. You'll see. Shouldn't he be in school? <laughs> what does school teach rodent boys? Other than be less than others. With his seed stand, he gets the real street learning. Now he's not afraid to make enemies. Of course he not. Did seed, uh, seed know you must step on heads when he's climbing to top, yes? But he has cunning and has me. How did Sid, a, a, how is Sid a good boy exactly? He's best boy. He wants best for family and works hard. Yes, sometimes a little stubborn, but businessman needs backbone. <laughs> Tell him I say hi. Bye. Can I come back, though? Can I? No. Stay vigilant. CPD. What's the name of the city? It's Vancouver. What? It, why would it be C? Is it VCPD? No. It is the police, though. City Police Department. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, man. The art looks amazing all the time. My god. I'm just taking it in. It's just great. Oh, it's Mo. Mo, are you everywhere? Howdy. Poe's the name. Oh, it's Poe. Was the other one not Mo? News is the game. Bo, I mean, Mo, I, I know that's you. Slip of the tongue, it's Poe. Uh. I know what I said, Mo. Sure you do. How about the latest issue of the Padfoot Inquirer? Uh. Just. I just don't get it. Help me understand. Current affairs can be a complex puzzle to unravel. Let me know if you'd like something ex something explaining or some explaining. You can just be yourself, Mo. Who is this Bo fella you're confusing me with? I said Mo, you said Bo. You fucking slipped. I can see how it's confusing. If we look alike, it is very confusing actually. No, Po, boys, no. He's your. You're all the same person. Shh, calm down. You'll be. You'll do yourself a mischief. So you admit it. Admit what? I was just minding my manners. 
like old Mother Flo taught me. Ugh. Goodbye, Mobopo. Is that a reference to some joke, or is that an original joke? Because it, it's surreal. Nothing that way but sadness and sore feet. I uh, wouldn't want to get my sore feet. No, the other way around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it properly, but I misread. I, mis I misread, I didn't read it, I misspoke. That's the word. Anyway, moving on. Lovely place. Come work. Future back there, do you see that? In the middle. Oh, it's like a, an atom thing. Why is there a police thing up there? It's a camera as well. Hmm. Either way. Strong Paw Jim up there. Dr. Aliyev. And Gabriella is over here. West End Doctors, Jacks of All Trades, Master of None. Okay, nothing here. I want to look at my objectives and make sure I don't go in. Well, I, I, I think as long as I don't go into anywhere, it's going to be fine. Gabriella, I'm busy. I hear you, bye. That's that, isn't it? Hello. Superintendent. Who are you? Hey, who are you? Me. I'm the boss. You want in? You go through me first. I'm I'm only here to try and help someone. I don't trust you. Because I'm a raccoon? No, because you're an outsider. Your socks are outsiders. Hey, leave the socks out of this. Uh, I'm going to see Beverly now. You don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's had enough of it for li five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. Scout's honor. Bye. Can I tell him about his socks? For a moment there, we had the, the thing. So we are going to enter that building eventually. Oh, it's, a, it's an easier approach. 80s guide us up top. Do you see that? Labor district that way wouldn't go there even if my life depended on it. Oh yeah, we saw that on the map. Let's go in here. Back to West End. Caw. That's an elevator. Are these missing person posts? Could be. Can't go up. can go in through the elevator, though. So, floor one. Is that where I came from? Okay. Because it's floor zero. Uh, control panel. Select a floor. Floor five. Oh, this is better than before. This way I don't mess anything up by exploring before I should. I'm tired. I'll treat myself to the elevator. Well, it is working, so... Yeah. Is that a melon? I don't know what that is. Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up a similar thing in my building. Oh, that's that's fantastic. That is that is a that is great. That, that's such a, a cool idea. Bicycle. Whoever owns this rusty bike is very trusting. Most likely, it's broken. Well, I wouldn't be able to tell. It is a red bicycle, though. I think I hear someone in there. Oh. Just... I'm gonna knock again. Didn't do nothing. Hmm. Let's go to floor... Uh, eight, then. Oof. Boarded up door. This dredges up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this life. In a mattress. The stains are mysterious and unappealing. I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Yeah. Although if you do have some clothes on, it's it's uh it's probably not too bad. Well, apart from the rats living inside the mattress. So we have uh Luxie over here and Bean. And a doorless door. I guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Oh. Hmm. Let's talk to Bean. 
Or Luxie. Let's go with Luxie. She's first. Beat it, Grandad. Do uh, you know uh, any of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. I'll come. We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. Oh, do tell. We're a self-governing anarcho-countercultural movement. Uh, do you have an agenda? Damn right. It's called the Mouse Parade. We disrupt the hood, challenge people's minds. How exactly? Graffiti, protest, love making, whatever it takes. Stay angry. Damn straight, we'll never rest. No peace till the mouse raid comes to fruition. Why the name? We hate mice. Oh. Wait, aren't you rats? We are. And we ate mice. It's a metaphor. I, you wouldn't understand. Hmm. Good that you're having fun with your club. We're not a club. Get d gone, granddad. Off I go. Bean. Caw. Why? Black eyes. Burning eyes. Yes? Dark lens. And they took my happiness forever. Crows. Hey, you're not a crow. You're just an angry teenager. Peck, peck, peck. Out your eyes. No, thank you. Hmm. Looks like nobody's home here. Yeah, silence. Wait. Then where am I supposed to go? It's gotta be here. There's somebody in here. Can I help you? Oh, Beverly Femme? You're uh, Leslie's mother? What's this got to do with Leslie? I'm not going to sign anything. Uh, H H Howard Lotor, private investigator. I need to know about Leslie's background. Private? What does that mean? It means I'm not police. I'm my own person. So why in Shepard's good name are you wasting your time out here? I, I have to know the truth. Hmm. Let's go with this one, actually. Other girls went missing, too. I want to find the connection. I've got my own life to live and not enough time to live it. What's keeping you so busy? Not that it's any of your damn business, but Leslie isn't my only kid. And now, without her to help... Oh. Miss Femme, I think Leslie was wrapped up in something scary. I don't have time for this. There's nothing you can do. I want to find these girls. I'm going to be late for work at a real job. I know it's hard, but maybe others are still at risk? What I want is to move on and to not get my pay docked for being late so Henry doesn't go hungry. Can I speak to Henry? Just go. I. Oh, hi! Oh, wait. Just go. I was Henry, I think. Maybe. And she says, Henry, get back inside this instant. Hey there, Henry. Hey, is he looking for Leslie? Maybe May knows, Henry says. May? This instant, Henry? The kid you mentioned, raising him yourself? Yeah, their dad took off when Henry was little. Huh, man. Stop with this pandering. <laughs> anyway, who's May? I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Beverly, I hate to stir things up for you. Look. I've been... I've really got to get working. Uh, get to work. I'll walk with you? Just go. I don't come... And don't come back. I'm sorry, but please, just leave us alone. Is it... Was it something I said? Good luck with everything. I've got a... Good day. You too, Beverly. Hmm. Well, I have a lead. Find a way to speak to Henry Femme. She made herself clear. I won't bother her again. I wish I could talk to the kid, though. How will I do that? The books? Or upstairs? Well, the kids upstairs were teenagers. There's not a whole lot of options here. Hmm. I don't think I have anything to do here. I think it's time to go outside. Unless, of course, I'm wrong. 
Oh, it's her. Oh, no. It's okay, I won't make trouble. Going down? Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Beats taking the stairs, right? Yeah, that's what elevators are for. I hope your work is, uh, you know, good today. It won't be. Yeah, work sucks, huh? Yeah. Here we are, ladies first. Wait, Beverly went to work. That must mean Henry is alone. That is correct. Henry, Henry, Henry. Um, hi. Hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Hi, you don't look like a detective, really. You want to see my badge? Yeah, can I hold it? It's not a toy. I'll be careful. Well, if you open the door and clean your hands, then sure. I want to, but... Aren't you scared of being left all alone? Mr. Flufo is always here. Want to meet him? Uh, does he know where Leslie is? Is she okay? Can you really find her? Honestly, Henry, I don't know yet. But I promise to try my best. Okay, but don't tell Mom. Why doesn't she want to talk about it? I don't know. She always gets mad if I ask. Oh, Henry, you are going to say something earlier about Leslie? Hmm, but Mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed too. Oh, proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone called May. Leslie's friend, May. Did you know May well? She always brought me sweets. Hmm, yum, which ones? The little pink fuzzy ones. Oh, you mean snazzy clouds? No, I, I don't think I've tried those. Hmm, how was the taste? Sour or really sweet? Sour, I guess. Did they have kind of a swirly pattern? Yes, the swirl never ends. The swirls never end. <laughs> then you must be talking about the fizzle boopers. Yeah, fizzle boopers. Have any, you got any? Nope, but we solved the mystery. Well done, Henry. Yay. Henry, we've taken a tangent. What's uh, May's full name? May Louder. Wish I lived with her instead. Did you ever tell her that? <laughs> no. Uh, that'd be embarrassing. Leslie knew you liked May, right? May is way cooler. She never shouted at me for making us poor. Henry. None of this is your fault. I hope not. I don't want to be bad. So, little bud, do you know where May lives? With her weird stinky brother, Samson? Oh, stinky or stanky? <laughs> stinky stanky. Uh, stinky stanky how exactly? He's just a poo-poo head. Sometimes he's... He'd knock and take May away, I mean home, to another flat. No, down the road, the house is the red, uh, with the red door. Thanks, Harry. You've been super helpful. If, uh, um, if you see May, you want me to tell her to visit? Yeah, uh, don't tell her I asked, though. Of course, I think you've earned that look at my badge now. Oh, yeah? Yay! It's really more of a shiny ID card. It's still cool. I bet you can do anything with this. That's what I hope, too. Stay in school, okay? I have to. boy. I better go check on Mr. Flufo now. Look after him. And your mom. I'll protect. Bye, Mr. Detective. You can call me Howard. Bye, kid. Leslie Pham had a friend called May Louder. She lives nearby. Find out what she knows. And, uh... I think, I think that's our connection right there. The house with a red door. I'm pretty sure... I don't remember which door that was. <laughs> or which house that was. It's, oh, it's right there. Hmm. Maybe? Gabriella? I'm still busy. Gotcha. Am I wrong on this? It has to be that, right? Look at this painting on the wall. Right there. <laughs> what is that even? It's like the eyes are bleeding or something like that. Either way, we're out of time for the day. So, for right now... Oh, that's the house with the red door. 
For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Backbone. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.